Hey guys, so thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna cover the 4.2 update. Uh, a couple things, we're close to 300 subs and we just did a giveaway. I thought it went really well. Once we get to 300, I'm gonna do another giveaway. So please sub. And once we get to three, I'll send out another video for another giveaway. And then also for this video, later in the video, I'm gonna cover just my overall thoughts of season four. I kind of miss these last two, I've been pretty busy, but let's dive into 4.2 and let's see what they got going on. Uh, this update does have a lot of changes with weapon balancing. Some, I will go back to the video for uh, community updates. So let's jump into this week's changes and start off with a brand new event into the world tour, primetime buff. Triggers when you're on a teammate's insert a cash box to a cash out station and it affects your whole team when the effect by primetime buff. Your teammates receive 100 plus health over your typical max health, which is pretty cool. Uh, the little bit I have played with this is it's it's quite fun and I think it's uh, pretty neat because you can be in the middle of battle, your teammate inserts the box and you're back up over to 100 and it's pretty cool. I actually really do enjoy it. If taking damage extra health does not replenish, when the cash out is finished, the buff will disappear. The buff cannot be stacked, but it can be replenished if your team deposits another cash box. The buff does not apply to teammates that are eliminated when the cash box is inserted. Uh, and Nemo are truly treating us well on their last stop of the world tour, which includes the following maps. Um, I'm assuming they're going to do, I'm assuming they're gonna split the season into thirds uh, with each sponsor kind of getting a third of this season. Uh, with rewards and probably like some maybe some map changes and then we have some rank stuff like i said i'm not but much into rank the community event uh for season four so we just need to do i think it's 10 million yeah 10 million eliminations using any of the three new weapons um I, I might dive into that a little bit today but uh we'll see uh so for gadgets the data reshaper added a glitch barrels to the rotation of reshaped items from the data reshaper can create. Smoke grenade, increased smoke entity duration from 15 to 17.5 seconds. This means enemy health bars and outlines will not show through the smoke until the effect properly begins to disappear. Uh, I'm really a big fan of smokes. I think they're highly un un underutilized, but I think the the fact that, you know, that outline disappears with smoke is, is quite fun and can play for some nice hiding in corners and and waiting on an enemy team. Uh, rank tournaments update the spawn points, increase the variety of cash out spawn locations, world tour update the spawn points, selection logic, and then increase the variety of cash out spawn locations. Specialization changes, decrease the mesh shield cooldown from 12 seconds to eight seconds if the shield is damaged when closed. Now, I don't know if I'm a fan of this, but decrease the mesh shield cooldown from eight seconds to four seconds to the shield is undamaged when closed. We're still keeping a void mesh on shield juggling in combat as that it's not intended play style for the specialization, but we feel our changes made in 4.0 have been overly severe. These changes hopefully make the mesh shield more usable in 4.2. Yeah, I, I think they've made a lot of changes in this fourth season that kind of seems detrimental overall from a balancing standpoint, but that's just my, my two cents. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a pretty hot take on this later. Uh, decreased damage from 117 to 100, increased ammo from 4 to 5. I kind of mentioned this when I did my review for this gun to increase it, uh, but I pretty much said leave the gun as is, just increase the ammo. Increased uh, self-damage multiplier, update damage falloff curve, so the damage drops 90% at the edge of 30 centimeter inner radius with damage falling off linearly from the point to zero at the outer edge of the blast radius. We felt the buff was too much and made the weapon very oppressive in certain uh, combos or when stacked. We've now dialed the damage back to a level closer to what we had before the 4.0 while retaining the increased size of the max damage in a radius to prevent the weapon from returning to a time where it took 100% accuracy to take down a heavy. We've given it one additional ammo. As always, we've continued to monitor the impacts of this change. So like I said, that was my big gripe with this gun is that it felt like you really needed to land your shots. Not a fan of that. That's not what the grenade launcher is meant to be used for, but I think they overly went the other way with this last season, probably turned a lot of people away from the season due to the force 4.0 release. But yeah, so diving into the Pike five, five, six, they have, they, they have decreased this uh, damage on this 
On reviewing data, it has become apparent that the pike was fairly overturned. Now, this gun, to me, is just kind of wildly messed up, in my opinion. I'm happy they kind of added a DMR, but with how the class-based system works, they really screwed this gun over so hard. Like, the fact that you can get a one-on-one -on -one fight with a, a medium and the light's DMR and the, and the light generally will most likely lose against a medium's DMR kind of blows my mind like my opinion is the light deals the most damage has the least amount of health the medium's supposed to be kind of in that intermediate area half health half damage heaviest kind of deals you know the generally like a little bit lesser damage up close more health i don't know i was a little bit i've played with this i feel like the pike overall has just wreaked havoc and it kind of gave me flashbacks to playing in cod where release a new gun and it's just kind of overly broken most mediums i've run into they don't use anything other than this just because three shot a light you prob you know four shot a medium i mean it's i don't know it's pretty whack but we'll see we'll see where this goes um V9S, decrease the fire rate and increase the damage. Changes have been made to prevent various methods where players can ensure they got the effective maximum fire rate from the weapon through use of specific binds, causing it to be highly effective compared to its intended baseline. The damage increases has been applied to offset some of the effective DPS. Interesting. I didn't think, I kind of curious, use specific binds cause this gun to go ham. Interesting. Fix some animation stuff, some audio. Made it possible to polish the grit and glory skin when using weapon inspects. Some uh, contract stuff, controller fixes, crash and errors, fix a crash bug that can cause problems with textures to raise. Fix an issue that could sometimes cause players to get the TFGE 40 connection error. Some gadget changes add the physics based uh, wiggle to the healing beams hose. Stun, game mode stuff. Uh, team colors will now be consistent throughout the tournament for teams you have seen in previous rounds. For example, if you progress with purple team, they will be purple in the next round. Cool. They still need to fix the colors, in my opinion. Uh, I Actually, you know what? They might have done that a little bit. I had to, I have not yet dealt with it too much where I've gotten like a red and a pink or like a beige and a pink or something. Uh, but I might not have been paying attention the last couple times I've played. Uh, spectator slot liftables fixed a bug where liftables would sometimes be immediately dropped after picking them up maps changes performance fixed a bug that could cause the client to stutter whenever they took damage from an enemy uh i feel like this season has had some major performance issues i don't i just got i, I played for about an hour in the last like hour i don't know the last like 20 minutes or so the performance dipped i don't know if there's like a memory leak going on um, I don't know what is going on, but like my frame rate dropped down from like nineties down to like in the tens and twenties. Yeah. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's physics related. I don't know what changes they made specifically that's causing this, but that's just me personally. Let me know what you guys have in the comments. If you guys not really know any performance issues, maybe it's just a me thing. Uh, specializations did some changes with the winch claw um overall just some ui stuff let's see here fixed issue with the cash out station fixed issue with the sponsor progression post match reward screens adjusted the past uh match reward screen buttons update the ordering tracker and then see here fix an issue where the weapons So, yep, there you go. There's the 4.2 update. Overall, that's just kind of my overall thoughts of this this patch. Um, some decent changes. I think they still have a far ways to go to get back into a balancing, a nicer balance uh, with this stuff. Um, the heavies, deagles, I feel like are either it's just the performance issue that I, I ran into that caused the deagles to feel off. Um, but I've gotten in a couple battles with like lights with, with the deagles and one-on-one, -on -one, I, my opinion, there shouldn't be, uh, a, a case in which I'm 
generally losing. Um, I think the Deagles, I need, I need to go into the test rounds and actually do a breakdown of these guns. Um, cause I think they probably flourish if you get a couple headshots in. Um, but if you're just landing body shots, uh, I don't think these guns are great. And I don't think the hip fire on these are very good. Um, but I'll, I'll be able to tell that more when I break them down. Overall for this season, not a, actually, honestly, hot take, not a fan of it. Um, I've been pretty bummed about this season, uh, a little bit I've played. New maps, pretty good, not going to lie. You know, they did a good job with the new map. I think the sponsor edition, I think a lot of people want the, the new edition for the sponsor changes, just to include those more and let us be part of that. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think the battle pass compared to the last season is a lot worse, um, to what was offered. Um, my issues with performance and balancing, I, I, I just think this season overall is maybe not a major downgrade, but it's definitely a downgrade compared to the last season. But, uh, I think they're still trying to, you know, they're moving in the right direction. They're making changes. You saw this 4.2 update it was a pretty big update. Uh, both from balancing standpoint, UI changes, and things like that. I still think they got a lot of ways to go um, from a balancing standpoint. I don't think we're going to see a good balance till maybe 4.4 or 5, maybe even 6. So we still got a couple more weeks of possibly, hopefully, balancing getting sorted out by then. But outside of that, I hope we'll see some performance changes soon. Like I said, I feel like there's a memory leak, but maybe it's just me. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have a good one. Um, please sub. Like I said, once we get to 300 subs, I'll do another giveaway. Maybe you guys can get one of the bundles uh, in part of the finals. They got some really good bundles. Uh, they added some really sweet skins. Uh, even get maybe get yourself a mustache. So I just want to say thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys out in the finals. On behalf of our sponsors, thanks for tuning in. 